Hello students, today's agenda is to check homework. We'll be solving two-step equations and you will be able to do 11.13. Today, students will be able to solve two-step equations involving division. So if you recall from previous lessons, I told you that we always, or actually not always, and I said that in the last video, um, get rid of the minus and plus, um, but that there was going to be an exception, and today that's what we're going to be learning. So in here, we have a number divided by 2, subtracting 1, and that's going to be equals to 5. Okay, so to figure out what that number is, we're going to do inverse operations, and remember from previous lesson, the inverse operations are, um, okay, inverse operations is that addition and subtraction cancel each other, so in here we have minus, we're going to add instead, and division and multiplication cancel each other, okay, so they cancel each other and these cancel each other. Okay, so if we're subtracting, the opposite is to add, and that's cancel by adding. Negative one and positive one is like owing one dollar, paying one dollar, so that cancels, right? You don't owe, that means that you owe zero now. And then n divided by... 2 is equals to, on the other side, the reason for which if we add in here, that's to cancel, but we have to add it on the other side to keep the equality. Otherwise, it's not going to be equal. You add on one side, well, they're equal, but you add on one side, then you have to add on the other to continue to say that they're equal. And so 5 plus 1, 6. E, that, this means if I have a number and I divide it by 2, then the answer is 6. So the opposite of dividing is multiplying, okay, if I multiply on one side, I multiply on the other to keep the equality, so cancel by multiplying, and so this cancel, and now on this side of the equal sign, I only have n equals, and then 6 times 2 is 12. Now, let's check to make sure, okay, I have a number, I divide it by 2, that's 6, minus 1, 6 minus 1 is 5, so yes, perfect, okay? Um, now, let's look at this one, again, I didn't do, on the first one, I didn't do a division, but remember that there is like a division line in the equal sign, and whatever you cancel, you have to cancel on both sides of that line. So on the equal sign, draw the line if you need to. Again, if we're we're dividing by negative 3, we're adding 5. So the opposite of adding is subtracting 5. So cancel by subtracting. And so W divided by negative 3 is equal to 2 minus 5. Now, if you recall from previous lessons, and if not, then make sure you review those. Um, when we have different signs, we subtract and leave the sign of the bigger one. Same signs, add. Different signs, subtract and leave the sign of the greater one. Okay, so 5 minus 2 is 3. And the negative number is bigger, so my answer is going to be negative. Now, this is division. The opposite of division is multiplication. So we're going to cancel by multiplying. Okay, in division, the opposite is to multiply. This cancel, and so W is equal to negative times negative, positive. 3 times 3, 9. Okay, so that's my answer. 
And in here, for the checkup test, is 9 divided by negative 3. The answer is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 5, the answer will be positive 2. Okay, that's if you need to see it. Okay, we're replacing the W with 9. So 9 divided by negative 3 plus 5 equals 2. We start simplifying according to PEMDAS. Division comes before addition. So positive divided by negative is negative. 9 divided by 3 is 3 plus 5. And that should give me 2. Okay, that's a question mark. Is it 2? So I owe 3 and I pay 5. Oh, that's still, that means that I still have 2. So yes, check because you have 2 equals 2. Okay, I wanted to explain something about why does this division cancel? If you recall from module D, this negative 3 multiplying by W over negative 3, when we multiply a whole number times a fraction, remember that we put it over 1, and then negative 3 times W, in multiplication we multiply straight, so negative 3 times W is negative 3W, over 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. And now when we divide, negative 3 divided by negative 3 is positive 1. Positive 1 W. Now, if you recall uh, from previous lessons, we never put the 1 as coefficient. We just leave it as W. Okay? So that's why they cancel. Um, again, it's just an explanation of why. Okay, you don't have to do it. You just need to know that they cancel each other. When we're dividing and multiplying by the same number, they cancel each other. And this is the reason. You don't need to do it. Just to understand it. <laughs> okay, now in here we have the R on the other side. Our variable is on the other side. And that's what we need to leave by itself. Okay, so we're going to make that division and we're going to start canceling. Some people get confused and wants to tar start uh, canceling this side, but no, it's whatever is on the side of the variable. So we're dividing by 9 and then adding 3. So the first thing that we're going to cancel is plus 3. So cancel. Since it's plus, the opposite is subtract. Okay, by subtracting. And so if we're so adding 3, the opposite is to subtract 3 from both sides. Remember, on both sides of the equal, of the equal sign. 3 minus 3 is 0. So in addition and subtraction, the reason they cancel is because the answer is 0. In multiplication and division is because the answer is 1. Okay, so it's r divided by 9 equals 4 minus 3, 1. The opposite of division is... Yay! Multiplication. So we're going to cancel by multiplying. Okay, so if I'm dividing by 9, the opposite is to multiply by 9. Something else that I want you to notice, and you probably noticed it in the previous um, example, is, or two examples, is that you multiply and divide by the same sign. In addition and subtraction, it looks like it changes, although it's the operation. But in division and multiplication, look, same sign, okay? Otherwise, your variable is going to be um, negative, and we don't want that, okay? Positive times positive, then it's positive. So we have R, and on this side, 9 times 1 is 9. So some teachers prefer to see the variable first, so we're going to put r is equals to 9, okay? And if you notice in here, 9 divided by 9 is 1, plus 3 equals 4, okay? So that's like your checkup that you can even do just mentally if the teachers don't ask you to do it on the side. Okay, so I told you that sometimes there's going to be an exception where you're not going to be able to cancel the adding or subtracting first. And this is the reason. This plus 2 is protected by the division of 3. This means x is divided by 3 and 2 is divided by 
by 3. I mean, x is divided by 3 and 2 is divided by 3, okay? So both are being divided, and so that's why we cannot cancel the plus 2. Otherwise, you're going to be canceling, if it's plus 2 over 3, that means I'm going to subtract 2 thirds, and we don't want to work with the fraction for now, okay? So instead, what we're going to cancel first, when the plus is being protected or over a number, we're going to cancel the division first. Okay, so if we're dividing the whole thing by 3, we're going to be multiplying both sides by 3. Okay, again, look at the difference between this one and this one. Plus 3 doesn't have anything underneath, and plus 2 in here it does have. So that's when we cancel this first. Okay, so we cancel that, and now we have only x plus 2 two on this side and three times negative two remember in multiplication and division positive times negative is going to be negative three times two is six okay we multiply the signs now that we're adding two we're going to cancel by subtracting cancel by subtracting and so we cancel this, and so we have x, negative 6, minus 2. Minus doesn't necessarily mean actually take away. Remember that we have to look at the signs, and same signs, we add and keep the sign of the greater 1. So 6 plus 2 is 8, and the greater 1 is negative. Okay, so that's going to be my answer. I forgot to write in here, we canceled by multiplying okay so let's check real really fast i have negative eight plus two is negative six divided by three negative six divided by three is negative two so that's how we can check it okay maybe i should write it since we have so many negatives involved in here negative 2 should be equal, and it's a question mark, to the value of x, which is negative 8 plus 2 divided by 3. So now let's check. If I have negative 8 and positive 2, that's I owe $8, I pay $2, so I still owe $6. Bring down the 3 and... Is negative 2 the same as dividing negative 6 divided by 3, negative 2? So yes, check. Okay. Okay, let's do some more examples where we have everything over a number, meaning we cannot cancel the adding or subtracting first. We need to cancel that division first. Okay, if I'm dividing by negative 3, the opposite is to multiply by negative 3. Remember that in multiplication and division, we multiply with the same sign or divide with the same sign. So cancel by multiplying. And remember, if I multiply on one side, I have to multiply on the other side of the equal sign. Okay? Because otherwise it's not going to be equal anymore. So m minus 2 equals positive times negative, negative. 5 times 3, 15. Now, if we, are, we have a number, we're subtracting 2, the opposite is to cancel by adding. Now remember that adding doesn't mean necessarily to add, no siempre va a ser, si digo suma, no siempre va a ser sumar, ok, tenemos que ver a los signos, quiere decir que estoy juntando, suma quiere decir unir, juntar, y aquí estoy juntando un negativo con un positivo, so I owe $15 and I pay two, now I only owe 13, ok, solo debo, la palabra owe es, se escribe así, Quiere decir deber. Ok. Deber una cantidad de dinero. Oh, 13 dollars. 
Ok, again, si, estoy, si tengo todo sobre 3, no puedo, no puedo cancelar el minus primero. Tengo que cancelar la división primero con multiplicación. Como este caso, as, as well. So, again, this addition, the whole thing is over 1. So, I'm going to cancel first the times negative, times negative 1, times negative 1. Ok, to cancel this right here. And so let me write that down. Cancel by multiplying. Okay, so this cancels in here. Negative 1 times negative 1. The answer is positive 1. And I just have t plus 1. Now, if we have a variable and we're adding 1, the opposite is to cancel by subtracting and so if I'm adding one I'm going to subtract one from both sides and so the answer is t equals one minus one zero okay again um, and here some teachers prefer to have the t first so t equals zero now let's do the checkup test just one last time so it says that negative 1 is equal to t, but the value of t is 0 plus 1 divided by negative 1. So negative 1 is equal to 0 plus 1 is 1 divided by negative 1. And negative 1 is equal to positive 1 divided by negative 1 is negative 1. So check. If they are equal on both sides, that means that the answer is correct. Okay, so with these examples, now you can work on, what is it, 11.13. 11 so have fun.